we go. 13,376. We've got the monster. It's basically a chancer. We open the cards up, and then uh, I had to put those seven cards in the uh, slots. And then seven people are going to get cards. Christian Juice. Red Synergy for the Caps. We've got a 125 uh, Dominion base for the Panthers. John Van Beesbrook. And for the Red Wings, the 999 Ice Rookie of Kendall. You have the Islanders? All right. Well, I'll try to get some Islanders for you. So, speaking of the Islanders, what do you guys think about the Matthew Barzil deal? Love it, hate it, think it's great, think it's terrible. We've got for the Panthers, Portrait Rookies of Maxime Mamen. My spell correct is crap, it's all good. For the Winnipeg Jets, Jack Ross Levick. Newcomers. For the, uh, sorry, Synergy Red for the New Jersey Devils, Taylor Hall. He signed, yep. He did sign. For the Winnipeg Jets, Spencer Mahachek. I was going to say three, I like the deal in terms of value he had. But I don't like the length of it. For the Hawks, number to 99, Patrick Sharp Medallion. Medallion of Patrick Sharp. We've got for the Oilers, Signatures, Dwayne Rolison. But I do agree with Golden. I feel like that's kind of a, a nice way of them of him giving the team time to sign a big, big deal after three years. And we've got for the Minnesota Wild die cut number to 30, Nicholas Backstrom. Backstrom. I guess I, I don't mind. I think it actually is a decent deal on both sides. I don't mind it for either side. We've got a rookie science of Grundstrom for the LA Kings. Nice. A rookie to 9 and 9 of Josh Curry for the Oilers. And we've got a 699 of Fleury for the Montreal Canadiens. How does the uh, the cap essentially work for him then? Because I thought it was 4, 7, and 10, I think it was, right? We've got an update of Edmondson for the Carolina Hurricanes. Does the cap does that uh, like affect it for this year only? So he's only getting four this year? Or is an AAV of 7 against it? Oh, nice. And we've got an Orum for the San Jose Sharks, Evander Kane. Evander Kane Orum. The reason I ask is because I saw the highest salaries of this year. And it had Marner and Matthews as the top two. At 15-9 and 15-15 even, I think. That obviously is not their salaries against a team this year, is it? Is it? Okay. We've got for the Vancouver Canucks, Red of Burray. Carter Rowney, blue rookie for the Penguins. And a green of Sackick for the Avalanche. We've got a Christian Juice, red rookie for the Caps. Anders Bjork, uh, blue for the Bruins. And a career spanning between the Oilers and the Rangers of Gretzky. That's a phenomenal value. For the Blues, Tarasenko, red. Sidney Crosby Green for the Penguins. And Impact Players of Atkinson for the Jackets. The only thing I'd be concerned of is it from a random person or what? 
I mean, I'd presume the case it's probably gone then. Burns red for the Sharks. Brad Marchand for the Boston Bruins. Brad Marchand. And a Pierre-Luc Dubois newcomers for the Blue Jackets. Uh, twenty-eight fifty per box is way less than deal, uh, wholesale right now. Shifley for the Jets. That's an incredible deal. We've got for the Devils, Taylor Hall. I, I would just be personally worried that the case is probably gone. And an Islanders, Mike Bossy Impact Players. From a distributor. Is he in Canada? New Jersey Devils, Marty Broder. Minnesota Wild, Devin Dubnik. An exceptional town of Subban for the Preds. Is it Grosner or Universal? Penguin, Sidney Crosby. <laughs> that was a long time ago, yeah. Rangers, Lungfist. Good old days. Blue. And an impact players of Wheeler for the Jets. We've got a Rangers, Philip Heedle. Red rookie. We've got a green of Getzlaff for the Ducks. And a career spanning of Hashik, Red Wings, Hawks. I mean, if it's not, uh, if it's not Grossner or Universal, then it's not a distributor. That's the only reason I ask, because I know Universal's price. And I can tell you it is significantly higher than that. <laughs> We've got a Galchenyuk for the Habs, oversized. MVP of Stasian for the Calgary Flames. Oh, is neither? Okay, I think I know who you're talking about then. Is he uh, somewhat local to Toronto? We've got a Mike Bossy Gretzky Heroes header card. That's a cool card. That'll be random between the Islanders and Oilers. We've got a canvas of Fleischman for the Panthers. Young Guns for the Panthers, Drew Shore. Drew Shore. Base. Game Jersey for the Philadelphia Flyers, Scott Hartnell. I'm just kind of curious, Leon, because I can probably tell you exactly where it's from. Vanek for the Buffalo Sabres, and I can tell you also why is that cheap. And a Gergensons for the Buffalo Sabres. So if it was an Ontario person, I know who, I think I, oh, I know who you're talking about because there's pretty much no one else who has it. If it was an Ontario person, I know who it is. So you don't have to tell me who, you just got to tell me if it's an Ontario person. How's it going, Greg? We've got for the Hawks, Jonathan Tays. Base, limited. Those are numbered, right? To two ninety nine. Legend of Newendike for the Dallas Stars. Numbered to two ninety nine. We've got for the Coyotes, because the old Jets, retired numbers of Dale Howarchuk. They send you a fake. Oh, that's sad. For the Penguins, the 199 jersey, Mark Andre Fleury. Can you just file a claim on that one, uh, Ed? We've got a moniker. Oh, they didn't even put the thing on it. 168.
Reggie Lemelin. We've got, oh my God, three redemptions in this. Material Phenom Silver Spotlight to 214. Luke Adam, I believe that was Buffalo. Buffalo. We've got another redemption. So remember when you guys said you guys all love Panini? When have you ever seen three redemptions in one pack? Jumbo Jersey numbers. Jumbo, number 12. Jordan Eberle for the Oilers. Jumbo jersey number, number 12. And we've got a Lungfist number to 299 for the Rangers. For the Rangers. Yeah. That's one of the things that people realized uh, or forgot about Panini. They were not shy on redemptions quite a bit. And... Literally three redemptions in one freaking pack. Yeah, the only thing, honestly, I will tell you, and I'm not stating that, Brad, this is the true or false. It just scares the crap out of me from anyone that you, if you don't know where they got cut from, there's been a lot of issues with cut before where it's like fake tins and stuff like that. Like again, we've actually, we've actually had some from other dealers. Vanasek Young Guns for the Caps, which is absolutely horrible. Portraits of Yossi for the Preds. Yep, I agree, Pat. Dazzlers of Nick Schmaltz for the Coyotes. Like, perfect example. The reason I was talking about Leon, for example, is when he was talking about the cup. I know there's somebody who had 15-16 uh, cup tins, but they basically told me it was a dealer who had excess cup tins, but they're all loose from cases, and he basically told the guy he got all the cases from him. We got a Tuka Rask for the Boston Bruins portraits. Because I remember at the time I was looking at buying them, he told me that story, and I'm like, I'm not touching these then. Gads Laugh Canvas for the Anaheim Ducks. Young Guns for the Sharks, Alexander True. That's a problem, unless you can guarantee a case hit. Like, again, we just opened up, uh, what was it, the McDavid Larkin. Like, if you don't have cases out of these things, I'll start worrying. Lucas Carlson, Young Guns for the Hawks. <laughs> yeah. Canvas of Giordano for the Calgary Flames. Game jersey of Shea Weber. So, as I just always be aware, folks, when a deal is really, really, really good, like beyond good, there's probably some sort of reason why. And especially in the market that we have now, like who, why would someone sell cup way below retail? Mikey Anderson, young guns for the LA Kings. In my opinion, why would they? Unless something, how do you fake tins or reseal them? Portraits of Shabbat. So I'll give you an idea. We had our distributor, Universal, um, buy some old cup before from a different person in the US. We actually got one of the tins and I think it was like six, seven, I think, or seven, eight. We opened it up and it had five base cards in there. Clearly it was resealed, so I shipped it back to him. Leon Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Our distributor was all uh, nice enough to give us a credit on it and we actually credited everyone in the break even though that wasn't there, there's more to that break than that. And hold on, Young Guns. Alexi Lafreniere. Young Guns for the Rangers. Lafreniere. Boom, baby. 
So, yeah, like, we gave everyone in that break a refund because that, that's not tolerable to me. John Carlson for the Caps canvas. But that's why, uh, even for us, we actually stopped buying the Walmart Harkins Young Guns, the returns, because too many people, um, too many people basically scammed those Walmart tins. So we only get them direct from our distributor now. Young Guns Canvas, Nicholas Baudin. Where's the master? I have no idea. I'm breaking a monster. How many eyes do I have? <laughs> and LaBase. Iris and Rookie Junior go up. Again, I have no idea about basketball that much. So if it is, sweet. I don't have any. Doesn't make a difference for me, but good for the hobby. Everything that keeps going up is good for the hobby. Can't complain. Some real hits. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. These are good hits, too. Don't downplay other hits, Ed. I think that left front air was pretty damn nice. Canvas of Hellebuck for the Jets. But yeah, it's just, you know, I don't want anyone worrying with legitimate dealers out there. Just, I want you guys to understand that it is possible. We got a Lindgren Young Guns for the Habs. Be thinking about this, Leon. Portraits, rookies of Kapanen. If I had a case of 5-6 uh, cup, and if I opened the first 10 as a dealer and got a uh, McDavid cup rookie, right? Marco, or Marco. Marky, rookies of Strom for the, uh, uh, for the Coyotes. If I needed some money quickly, I would just sell the other five instantly, right? And I just sell them below market value because I know you're not going to get anything good in them. We've got a Marner Line A duel, which would be random. Leafs. And John Gabriel Pajot for the Sens, Leafs and Jets. Oh, right, yeah, that's cool. How should you protect it? Top loader, I'm guessing. Soft sleeve. Honka for the Dallas. Most of the people who send them in to us that we ship them out to, um, they ship them in the top loaders. Honka. Portrait rookies for the stars. I would think that's enough. Maybe one touch. Bertuzzi. Young guns for the Red Wings. They do return the one touches, by the way. So. Marky rookie of Zaitsev for the Leafs. Marky Rookie of Morgan for the Panthers. Shea Weber for the Habs Canvas. Shellington Young Guns for the Flames. So that's the only thing, guys. Just be always careful on that. Portrait of Sergachev for the Habs. Mar our update rainbow of Ocposo for the Sabres. Game jersey of Anderson for the Sens. That's why you also see in our breaks, guys, whenever we do like cup breaks, for example, if we are down to the last 10 and we know we haven't got a case hit, we normally, so when we open cup, we put six tins or three tins aside. Uh, Johan Av uh, Avutu for the New Jersey Devils and Men's. So that way, if five tins go by and we have no case that we know that, Monahan for the Calgary Flames. And as you guys see, sometimes we even label it beside where it's cup. It'll be like, should be case hit. Vanek Retro for the Red Wings. The problem is, a lot of dealers would see that and just open up that tin and you guys get nothing. Portraits of Konechny for the Philadelphia Flyers. Blake Spears, Young Guns for the Devils. Uh, all the Pajos don't have any logos or anything on it. Yeah, all the Pajos are a mess up. Marky, rookie of Dvorak for the Coyotes. Freddie Anderson. Uh, Matt, did you get in a break with us? Just so I know, or was it someone else? I'm not judging you. I'm just asking you to help you out. The basketball, not with that, was it with the store? Please tell me it is with the store, not some random.
So if it so ba okay if it was an if it's a store that's a certified diamond dealer you're okay they got to print you off the receipt of the group break. Anaheim Ducks Daniel Sprong. Uh, but if it was not a store you're SOL you get nothing. Milestones of Crosby for the Penguins. That's why I was wondering. Kuznets off for the Washington Capitals. Uh, they're an authorized okay so yeah they're their store then that's good. Future Watch Auto for the Dallas Stars, Miro Heiskanen. So for those, again, that don't know, if you guys do breaks with a non-certified diamond dealer and any card comes out damaged, you are SOL. They will not compensate those breakers. Or you at all, because you need to be able to print off a receipt of that break. And then uh, that's how we get it. Jake Muzzin for the Leafs. So again... Do what you guys want to do, but if you're not dealing with a certified diamond dealer, Sveshnika for the Canes, then you're literally SOL. Moments of Darlene for the Buffalo Sabres. Moments of McDavid for the Oilers. It will be after this, uh, after this probably. Perlini for the Hawks update. Chronology's already done. McDavid, red for the Oilers. If you guys see it's not on the break page anymore, that means it's done. Matthew Kachuk, Calgary Flames milestones. Uh, Greg, I would think so, yeah. I think it's fine. Jake Bean, young guns for the Canes. And we've got number 999 for the Panthers, Borgstrom. Flow right up, Panthers. Sidney Crosby Retro for the Penguins. Hellebuck for the Jets. Red. That's the only sad thing is there's so much stuff in the industry that a lot of people just don't know. That I don't feel like they do a good job advertising or telling people. Milestones of Lafleur for the Habs. Spectrum of Hashik for the Buffalo Sabres. Spectrum Future Watch of Matthew Joseph for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Like as I said, Greg, 90% of the people who drop off their cards to us is top loader and that's it. So I feel like that's more than fine. And for the Caps, Siegenthaler. $9.99. I, I think that's honestly well more than enough. Anyone else have any uh, fun questions to ask? Get some good conversation again. While, uh, while we still have all the big stuff in the monster to go. <laughs> uh, I don't... I would think so, yeah. Greg... Uh, <laughs> Greg Coleman! I was going to say Greg Coleman. Tampa Bay Lightning update of Coleman. SP Essentials of Marshawn. Because if you ship it to us, I still got to ship it out. So it's... It's one shipping versus two, so I cannot imagine ours would be any faster. Bowden, Young Guns for the Sens. Sidney Crosby, All-Star for the Penguins. All we are is a drop-off center. It just, people, it just saves them from wanting to do it, and we can ship them in bulk faster, right? Krug for the Boston Bruins, Red. But we generally, like, ship once or twice a week. Moments of Tavares for the Maple Leafs. We've got an inscribed future watch auto to 999 of Vorobiev for the Philadelphia Flyers. Do you guys prefer? Sorry, what do you mean? Do you guys prefer one touch of the penny sleeves? I prefer my cards personally in one touches, but the problem is it also gets very costly to put all your cards in one touches. 
uh, future watch auto for the Ottawa Senators, Max Verano. Oof. That's a tough one. I'm going to say Debrinket. Moments of Carey Price for the Hawks. Sebastian Aho, red for the Canes. Spectrum of Kachuk for the Ottawa Senators. We've got a, a future icons to 199 of Verana and Sam Sonov. You know what, Ed? The funny thing is, it blows my mind. And I've had this debate with other people about, like, cards can't really get too damaged in one touches. Unless you're absolutely shaking them like crazy. Pasternak, Boston Bruins. And I've had people say that about, like, in the, in the Beckett slabs or M&T slabs if a card moves. They're not going to get damaged. Moments of Joseph for the Maple Leafs. Young Guns, Adam Brooks for the Maple Leafs. Ah, uh, no, David. Cup is not confirmed date yet. SPS Centrals of Pasternak for the Boston Bruins. I would love to see it sooner than later, honestly. Mark Stone, red for the Vegas Golden Knights. Artifacts is the only one I think confirmed right now. That'll be the 20th of uh, January. And a moment of Alex Petrangelo. Yep, exactly. Yeah, like as I said, I understand some people want their cards to be super not moving in there, but it's like, I don't think a lot of these cards are going to get uh, massively damaged if you... If they can survive being in a box that's getting shipped multiple times, opened up, you know, by hand and all this stuff, like, I feel like they can survive a one-touch. Um, sure, but could, I don't see how it could do enough damage on a corner, in all honesty. We've got a Coglin for the Vegas Golden Knights. Vancouver Canucks. D. Pietro, 749. And for the Oilers, McDavid. Um, Leon, I would have to ask, so whenever we do those deals, we buy them up front from them. So we actually buy the tickets as a store. So, Aho for the Carolina Hurricanes. We've got a 349 Matthews for the Leafs. So it would be something I would have to inquire to see if I can do that. And we got an All-Stars of Stahl. So whenever we do the deals... So you guys know the process. We buy them up. Like, we buy all the tickets. Then we obviously, when you guys do them, we issue them. McDavid, red for the Oilers. Kravtsov to 749 for the Rangers. Uh, I feel like Yamamoto will be always overshadowed by Dre Sutherland and McDavid. 899, Duncan Keith for the Hawks. So it's going to be hard for him to pass them. Kind of like Nylander, in my opinion, for the Leafs. Skinner. For the Oilers. I like him as a player. I just don't know if he'll ever go. Oh, nice. Number to 21. We've got a base parallel. Ryan Getzlaff. Ryan Getzlaff. So, but I can inquire, Leon, where's like, where's what happened to this? I get told no, right? Lemieux for the Penguins. And I don't know if they would actually be okay with that, considering they also gave us a deal on them. Synergy, Patrick Kane. But maybe, who knows? 749, FX of Timothy Lilligren. Timothy Lilligren. And we got a Crosby All-Stars for the Penguins. We've got a red of D. Pietro for the Canucks. 99 exceptional star Seth Jones. And we got a 
99 Malkin for the Penguins. Uh, I don't think that would affect the grading unless the surface can get scratched. So if it's a shiny card, maybe don't do it. Ottinger for the Dallas Stars, but I can't see how it affects anything else. 349 Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And we got a Sebastian Aho costume threats for the teams. What's up, Ed? Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. Red, 749 Barkov. And a 999 Lilligren for the Maple Leafs. <laughs> yeah, I know. I hear you. I hear you, Leon. Um... As it, I can ask them for you. The worst they'll say to me is no, or maybe they'll offer something else. But I know, I know in the past when we've done the deals, I can tell you. Um, they generally, like, we have to pay it all up front type of thing, and then, which we already did. And they're pretty good on that, so I just don't know if they want to switch things on me after. Carey Price, uh, orange for the Habs. And a premieres of Brisebois for the Vancouver Canucks. Jersey. What do I think the big pull is? I'm going to call a Gretzky out of 25 auto. We've got a green of Matthews for the Leafs. 149 Farabay Retro for the Flyers. And we've got an Ice Premieres Jersey. Quinn Hughes. Vancouver. How's the Immaculate doing, by the way? I have a lot of emails to go through, apparently, so that's good news. We've got a green of Jadou for the Flyers. And for the Sharks, the 299 Dylan Gambrell. Dylan Gambrell. Kachuk for the Ottawa Senators, green. Nine ninety nine for the Red Wings, Giovanni Smith. Giovanni Smith. Crosby Green for the Penguins and a four ninety nine of Volkov Tampa Bay Lightning. And going way back to what uh, Leon was saying, Leon, if that dealer wants to sell it and it's a three tin case, I would be interested. But it'd have to be a case. If it's single tins, I uh, one of my like policies essentially is I try not to touch any single tins unless it's a product that doesn't really matter on that stuff. Like for example, Synergy is a good example. Like I don't think it's bona fide certain case hits. So like if I was like someone who's like, oh, you know what? Here's five boxes of Synergy. I'd be somewhat okay with it. We've got a green of Monahan Calgary Flames and a 999 for the Avalanche of Sheldon Drees. The chronology, uh, it's not a, it wasn't an inner, it was a uh, four boxer, but that one is done, yes. We've got a green of Shabbat for the Sens, Sub Zero of Goudreau for the Flames, Rinkside Signings, Shattenkirk for the Rangers. Uh, I haven't heard any issues, no. As I said, as long as you're not, like, literally shaking that card like crazy, it's not really going to da get damaged. Eric Stahl for the Minnesota Wild. Sub-Zero of Chalowski to $9.99 for the Red Wings. Again, think about these boxes, guys. They go on our shelf, you guys grab them, you throw them in your car, you go home, you open them by their hand. Aho for the Canes. And we've got, for the Blues, Robert Thomas, exquisite rookie. Clearly, basketball has not been opened yet. No. If it's on the break page, guys, that means we have not done it yet. Max Domi for the Minnesota or for the Montreal Canadiens. Nine ninety nine for the Devils. Brett Sini. So as we have a lot of new members on here, if you ever see a break on the break page, still even if it's sold out, we have not done it. Once we do it, we move it over. Uh, green of Barkov for the Panthers, and that's a good one. We've got numbered eight, what is it, eight or nine or six or eight? I think it's right out of eight, right? Six, I'm going to say six of eight, 
Claude Giroux. Claude Giroux. I think that's six of eight. It's either eight of nine or six of eight. I just can't remember which one it is. Maybe eight of nine. I don't know. Does anyone want to let me know just for my peace of mind on that? But nice hit for the Flyers, by the way. Uh, Casey, that's what I'm saying. That's, yeah. Obviously, we agree with that. Because that's that's what I was saying. Is like, for example, this retail. There's no case hits of how many McDavid's there are. So, realistically, I could buy a loose of that because you would never know. But in 15, 16 cup, if a guy came up to me and said, I have two tins, my first instinct is, you got something, the case hit, the rest is, no, I wouldn't say junk, obviously. But I don't like doing those kind of things. When I know it's like a guaranteed, almost, I'm not going to get the big hit for our breaks, it's not, it's not worth it for me. Shining stars of Zetterberg for the Red Wings. Portrait of Crawford for the Hawks. Joel Edmondson for the Blues, Young Guns. Shining Stars of Taves for the Hawks. Jamie Ben for the Dallas Stars, Canvas. Stefan Nason for the Anaheim Ducks, Young Guns. Young Guns! Connor McDavid! Bam, bam, bam! I would get that bad boy graded, by the way. Damn. Mick David. Well, we obviously got the big boy in this box. Canvas of Patch already for the Habs. Well, whoever has Edmonton, congrats, by the way. That's huge. Zetterberg portraits for the Red Wings. Yeah, I know. Someone's quite happy. Fiala Young Guns for the Preds. Game jersey of Tarasenko for the Blues. Guy Lafleur portraits legends for the Habs. Shining stars of Crosby for the Penguins. Shining stars for the Penguins. Blue Evgeny Malkin. Ronald Keenan's Young Guns for the Canucks. Uh, we sold... What was it? Bacchus Canvas for the Blues. It was a 9.5 M&T. We sold it in store, I believe, for 1,700 Canadian. I think. Mike Fisher for the Preds canvas. We literally had it for like, I think, a week. Young Guns canvas, Colin Miller. To be honest, it was quite disgusting that we sold it that much for the customer, but I was thrilled. We got that much for the customer. So yet again, anyone who sits there and says, grading doesn't help a card. Well, that guy made probably an extra thousand dollars on that card, so. Portrait of Ryan Johansson for the Jackets. Colin Miller, Young Guns for the Boston Bruins. You know what the sad thing is? I'll tell you guys. Well, it's a good problem to have, but I've been debating. Because McDavid's been going crazy. I have a couple sets that I did, luckily, back in 1516. 
But the only thing is the McDavid card's the only card realistically that's selling for good money. So do I blow up my set just to sell at McDavid? Or do I I kind of hold on to it? We've got for the Anaheim Ducks clear cut autograph of Maxime Comtois. Comtois for the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, you know what? I can put that there. Ed, you know, you know the Master Collection is literally an empty box, right? That's what we're... So only the base cards and the jerseys, but the rest is the empty box. We don't actually open a box. You know that, right? Um, Snow, the McDavid looks like, if I had to honestly guess, it looks like a 9 or 9.5. The one corner looks a little... Like, again, not major, but a little eh. But I would still get it done because a 9 is still going to command you more money than a raw. Willie O'Ree for the Boston Bruins. You think blow it up, eh, Casey? Like, for example, I have the franchise icons. And that McDavid Gretzky one's selling like crazy. Cod can yeah me for the Habs. And it's like, the rest are selling for like 20 to 40 bucks, which is great. <laughs> For the Capitals, the three ninety nine Martin Fairberry. So Leon, in my opinion, I was thinking about maybe do I just sell the whole set together so that way at least it's one set. We got a green for the Blues, the one forty nine Mackenzie McEachern. One forty nine. For the Coyotes, the one forty nine of Kachuk. Snow, can you just send us uh, an email? And if you don't have gradings on file, just uh, hit the purchase on the one, and then obviously uh, we'll do the rest for you. Number 85, Joel Person. But I, I think it's a 9 or 9.5. I, I just don't want to guarantee that. For the Islanders, 199, Otto Koivula. But either way, it's a sexy-ass card, so congrats. I don't know what this set of franchise would go for. We've got a three ninety nine for the Hawks, Kirby Doc. But the other one, Leon, I, I did the SBA Future Watch set too. So do I sell the McDavid by itself or do I just do it all? Sentry Momentus, Glenn Hall. I have debated of just doing the entire SBA set, like sell the entire thing with the icons and just let it go. Because I feel like it's a ridiculous amount. You'll buy the McDavid off me? <laughs> if you buy the McDavid, you must buy the rest. You don't just get the uh, the good stuff. You have to buy the whole package. We've got number to 15. Splendid signatures for the Leafs. Borier Salming. <laughs> my PC. I, I like my PC. Let me put it that way. I'm a set builder, Leon. And I said, I, I'm pretty hardcore in a set building. I, uh, I have, for example, the 1516 complete diamond set. So I got all the diamonds. Um, I got all the 1617 diamonds because I love that year as well. The trilogy 1617, I have the entire set with the autographs, the inscribed autographs, all the way down to the triple autograph out of 10. So I said, I, I'm a set builder through and through. The only one that I do personally right now is uh, Matthews. We've got for the Dallas Stars, 149, Tyler Sagan. I don't have the set for sale yet. I've been debating about that uh, if I want to or not. We've got for the Red Wings, 199, Zetterberg. Zetterberg. We've got a team logo jumbos of Savard. It's kind of like the prism. That prism, I, I feel like it was a, a great time to capitalize. I literally got them graded. And I think I like 150 times my money on some of them. It's hilarious. For the Calgary Flames, placards, autograph, Johnny Goudreau. Like the raw Crosby rainbows when I was selling it, were selling for 150. 
I bought my rain or select, sorry, select prism, I think it's called. Or prism, sorry. My prism prism. Um, I bought it for two dollars, my Crosby. Number to 85, Stamkos, and this is way, 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 way back in the day, so it's not like this is current. And I got it graded. It came back a 9.5 from MNT, and I sold it for $500 US. So what is that? 250 times my money. And for the Rangers, the 125 Diamond Mine Relics of Rick Nash. Actually, sorry, 500 US converted, so I did way more than that. I did like 300 times my money. Hell yeah. So. That's when I think those things are smart to do. <laughs> That's when you get rid of your cards. But Leon, you know, I got some old fun sets too. Like for example, the Captain C set. I got the entire autograph set, like with Maurice Richard and all those guys. So I might, I might blow that one up too. We've got a 199 Johnny Goudreau. Johnny Goudreau, Calgary Flames. New Jersey Devils, Goose. Oh, 98 of 299, Gusev. Gusev. For the Flyers, the 149, Morgan Frost. Rookie patch auto. Morgan Frost. For the LA Kings, we got a premier attraction of Tobias Bjornfont. <laughs> the set price, oh boy. I, honestly, Chris, I would have no idea what I would even fathom to ask for that. For the Sharks, Chest Logos Mega Patch, Timo Meyer. Chest logos mega patch, Timo Meyer. For the Vegas Golden Knights, a ninety-nine Cody Glass. And for the LA Kings, a forty-nine Blake Lazat. Like I have no idea what even price point would be fair for that kind of set. Like what? What's the McDavid going for now? Uh, Leon, for me, it'd either be people I know personally, like bigger collectors, or yeah, eBay. Like those are the only two options I would do personally. The only reason I'd have no problems going like for bigger guys is sometimes you can just like you can do cash deals with those guys and you can save some eBay fees. So I'd rather helps us or helps me helps you type thing. No, Future Watch not going for 10k. Or are you just saying ask 10k for this stuff? 399 Kopitar. There is no way Future Watch is anywhere near that. Maybe I'm wrong. New Jersey Devils, John Quinville. Or are you saying that's what you, I should ask? John Quinville. Woo, sexy patch for the Maple Leafs. Number to 25 gold rookie patch auto. Brendan Leipzig. Brendan, I swear we uh we just put in I brought in a consignment item of a Marner. Marner at a 199. I swear the patch is the exact same. Beautiful patch. For the Buffalo Sabres, Justin Bailey. The anthology set? Oh, yeah. I love 1314 anthology. For the Maple Leafs, Kasperi Kapanen jersey. Are you serious? There's, are they actually selling anywhere near that? Like, sold? We've got for the Oilers, Lucic Trace Idol. And we got an Anaheim Ducks, Corey Perry. Holy jeez. What's a raw one going for, to be fair, though? I feel like mine would be a 9 or 9.5. I don't. I know it would not be a 10. I, I, I'm not saying I can see visible flaws, but I know it would not be. Last one went for 3.5. Oh, my God. 
Hold on. Well, well, well. Hold on, Chris. Are you also interested in the, all the? Uh, are you also interested in all the inscribes? <laughs> Ottawa Senator Shane Prince. For the Blues, Pareko. Pareko. For the Florida Panthers, Aaron Ekblad. Um, what does the number say right below 13392? Does it say sold out, Michael? I'm just not looking at it right now. For the Habs, a 375, Foo Cali. See, I wish I could just find someone to just like offload my entire, entire like collection. That'd be pretty sweet. We've got a random number 65 of Panarin, Bennett, Vertanen, Ehlers, quad jersey, Chicago, Calgary, uh, Winnipeg, and Vancouver. Okay, so I'll, it might be a pending spot. I'll, I'll check when I'm done this break for sure. We got a Boston Bruins, Frank Vetrano. Well, remember, Chris, the inscribed does not have McDavid. Shea Weber, 199. He did not have an inscribed, thank God. <laughs> and also, to be fair, I don't think I... I did not also do the, uh, the Eichel because that was released, I think, this year. I just... I haven't got that one yet. We've got for the Oilers, Slepeshev. No worries, Michael. Jersey. For the Tampa Bay Lightning, Steven Stamkos to 199. We've got a iconic Fabrics of 65 for the Carolina Hurricanes, Noah Hannafin. Yeah, McDavid does have an SBA black. That's a beast of a card that would be. For the Rangers, woo! Jersey number 30 of 99, Henrik Longfist. <laughs> Longfist number 30. Jersey number. And we've got nice number to 49, hard sign Jersey Auto. Carry Price. Carry Price for the Habs, number to 49. Hearts on Carry, ain't too shabby. And we've got 299, Derek Forbort. The price is right. Well, Chris, as I said, I would have, I have no idea. I have no idea what uh, I would even want to ask for that. To be honest, if you want to maybe just send me an offer for the franchise icons and all the future watches, I would be happy to entertain it. I just have no idea. Like, I'm also, to be honest, I'm not in a massive rush to get rid of it. I do know McDavid has a lot more upside, I feel like, with the way the world's going right now. But, if the price is fair and we're both happy, I will never turn down a fair offer. We've got a 249 Jeff Carter, LA Kings. For the Calgary Flames, a 249, John Gillies. Ha! <laughs> Chris, SBA this year is going to be a nightmare for me, I can tell you that. I can already foresee it. It will be an absolute bloody nightmare. Ooh, very nice. We've got a rookie auto patch tribute. 
Number to 99, Matthew Barzal. Barzal, rookie auto patch to 99. Damn. Damn. For the Oilers, signature renditions, Andy Moog. If Oilers win the cup or Leafs win the cup, it's not expired one year after. You have one year after expiration date, everyone. Don't you worry, guys. One year after expiration date. It will not work on the Upper Deck website. You just email them the code. It still is good. Signature rendition, Andy Moog. For the Blues, rookie printing plate 101, Ivan Barbashev. Always know that you have one year past expiration to email them, but you have to email them. You can call them, but they'll ask you to email them the code. And for the Penguins, 89, pretty close, Sidney Crosby. So, that's the good news. Don't throw out your expired redemptions if you think they're expired. A lot of times they're not. <laughs> and even if it was expired, you can join the expired redemption raffle, which you will get something in return for that card. So you're never SOL on that. So yeah, you will get that card, Pat. And that is a bad-ass card. Uh, yeah, pre-orders are not going to be for a long time, in my uh, honest opinion, for uh, for SBA. And honestly, I'm going to tell you guys this straight up. Well, I'll have this conversation a little more right after this, just so you guys can understand. So just pay attention, because it'll probably be important for you guys to know. Bobby Ryan, 249 for the sends. Like, in my opinion, guys, this will affect almost all your guys' pre-orders in Canada, so you guys should listen. For the Hawks to 249, Mark McNeil. 249 Mark McNeil for the Minnesota Wild number to 50 Joel Erickson Eck no Chris it's more so to give you guys the most up-to-date information uh, Greg my stance is on any young gun of a big name it's always worth sending it in even if it gets an 885995, it doesn't matter. I always think it's worth getting graded. Woo! Nice finish. Numbered three of five. Quad patch for the Capitals. Alex Ovechkin. A O Alex Ovechkin, baby. That is damn nice. Three plus five equals eight. One of one. And we got 249 Brent Burns for the Sharks. All right, Ryan's coming up in the next video.